It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we have an Algar Brewhouse Bubble Beer Edelbrow. It's got a swing top cap coming in at 5.5% ABV. It's a Hell's Beer. Looking forward to this. There's the bottle cap. Today we're going to be pairing it with a Biffy Beef. 100% original. Yes. So let's grab one of them. Have a bit of it's a smoked a naturally smoked beef oh it's gonna be great um i suppose it might be a little bit like jerky american jerky maybe slightly i don't know maybe maybe you can comment in the comments box before i've even tried it to tell me exactly what it is thank you very much to stephen in germany for sending me such a wonderful wonderful package of of stuff again loads of beer loads of food terrific guy on we go Have a bang on them openers. <laughs> well, what I've learned to do with this is put your finger over the top of the. It's taken me years, but just put your finger over the top of the swing top. Although I do like to to show off, a bit like a guitar player here, and I move my fingers all round. I like to show off the label as I pour. It's a lovely looking beer. We've got a two finger tan coloured head. Tan coloured? Two finger white head, should I say. I'm like in my in a world of my own this morning. <laughs> two finger white head. Good levels of carbonation. Hey, a clear amber coloured beer. Let's see if it's bottle conditioned at all. Doesn't look to be. Doesn't need to be, I suppose. Let's get the aroma. Oh, it is it is unfiltered. Yeah, if you have a look carefully, you can see very, very small sediment. Very small sediment floating around in the glass. Not much at all. Though. Aroma. Oh, that smells lovely. It's just got that lovely, sweet, kind of slightly biscuity malt aroma going on. Hmm. Nice hop character coming through. Let's dive in. Cheers everybody. That is fantastic. What a beer that is. 5.5% ABV. It's so well balanced. The sweetness from the malt it just carries through into the into the hop bitter kind of peppery spicy stinging nettle finish. What a balanced beer this is. Carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth. There's a level of there's a, there's a level of of, of like a, a slight slight mouth feel going on here with the amount of malt in the beer. It's it's not a thin beer. It's very drinkable. It's very refreshing, but you're getting that kind of that mouth feel from the malt. With it being 5.5% ABV, they use more malt which creates more sugar, which gets eaten up by the, the yeast. And then of course, the byproduct of yeast is alcohol. So that's why the more malt you put in, the more ABV you get. Uh, naturally up until about 13%, 14%, and then the, then the certain yeasts can go higher uh, with the ABV, but then they start to kind of drown in themselves. This is a strange thing, drown in the alcohol. I 
lovely beer. Incredible, incredible, really, really good. Um, Stephen in Germany really knows. I mean, he sends me. I, I seem to get like a vice beer package, and then I then this package here. There's there's all the beers that Stephen sent this time. There's there's a lot of Keller beers and there's a Poculator. Dunkel, so there's a few Dunkels in there, there's a few Calabiers. So he's kind of mixed it up this month, Stephen in Germany. He's mixed it up, he's given more of a, yeah, a, a more of a kind of a lager box this time, which is really cool. I have readily, readily available, which we prepared earlier. We have some Heinz curry ketchup there and now we go with the we'll, we'll try the biffy beef let's see how well it goes with the beer any english here uk questions comments feedback at biffy.com little type of pepperami type thing going on Oh, it smells like steak. It smells like garlic, peppery, spicy garlic steak in a stick. Cool, oh, blimey. Wow. Here we go. Mm. That's proper tasty. Loads of meat, loads of fat. It's strange though, because you don't see much meat in this kind of in this form. Normally it's pork, and it must be pork for a reason. And if I was to try and look for that reason, maybe it's the texture. Maybe with the pork sticks, there's more of a, like a tougher texture going on. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's a lovely texture on that, but there's more of a, this is going to sound stupid because this is meat, but pork seems to give a more of a tougher kind of chewy kind of meat, a meatier kind of feel. Let's get some curry versed on this, shall we? That's better. Mmm. Or curry ketchup, should I say? Or curry worst. Yeah, that's nice. Just kind of wetted up a bit. Very quickly while I'm here, I had another package from Germany recently, and I think this is candied malt. Somebody was kind enough to send me some candied malt. I think it's candied malt anyway. I think you just open it and just, just tuck in, just start eating it. Oh, them sticks are lovely. Mm, really good. And the ketchup's not bad. I, I picked the ketchup up, um, it was advertised in one of the online kind of food blogs that I read that Pound Stretcher have a, is it Pound? That's Pound, they went bust. The Pound Shop. The Pound Shop had a, a small selection of this, this curry ketchup from Germany in and I thought I've got to get some of that. About me. Mm, yeah, really good. I'm trying to get through it so I can 
to wash it down with some beer. Oh, have it. Ah. Oh, I thought I was gonna break my tree, my tooth. big rush of carbonation and when you when you eat something or when you put something like ketchup in your mouth or, or some fatty sausage when you then test it have a go yourselves the, the next mouthful of beer you put in is like it's like a fire extinguisher going off in your mouth it must be it must be the the, the fats or the, the the sauce or or something or something that it's like the beer cleans the inside of your palate out. Right. That was lovely. That was lovely. I really enjoyed that. It needed some sauce. It needed some curry ketchup. Definitely. But my middle daughter, oh, my middle daughter loves meat. I think she's been dying to get into these. So on our travels, we're going traveling soon. I'm just gonna chuck them in the rucksack. It's great, it just keeps us going a little bit longer without needing to stop for food. And it keeps the kids happy. Ah, right. It got a bit wearing towards the end. It got a bit like, it got a bit, like my, I, the reason why I mentioned my daughter is because I'm the opposite, I'm the complete opposite. I like meat. I like a little bit of meat. I only like certain meats. I'm a real picky meat person. <coughs> so, I'm more potatoes. Fried potatoes, roast potatoes, chips. I'm <laughs> weird like that. I'm a more of a potato person. But um, my daughter's the opposite. Complete opposite to me. She will like, she'll just eat meat forever. She'll like, I don't know, spend her life eating meat. It sounds awful, doesn't it? Blimey. Um, let's move on. Let's, let's, review, let's, let's rate the Biffy beef. I like it enough to give it a seven. Seven out of ten. It goes well with the beer. The beer is the star of the show, I think. It's just this Edel, Edeldorf bubble beer, Algar Brewhouse beer is just immense. Absolutely immense. I love the fact that, have a look at the... You've got the roll where the bottles in Germany get recycled, they get cleaned, they get recycled, they get used again. And because that happens, you leave, they, they go on the same track, they go on the same machine over and over again in the recycling proce process. So you, have, you start to get track marks on the bottles. And I think it's great. We get 10 cents back for your bottle and the brewery gets to use it again rather than what we do over here, which is sling them in the recycling. And then they've got to be smashed up and made into glass again and use even more energy to make the glass. It's just bonkers, isn't it? I really like that beer. That beer is fantastic. I like that enough to give it a nine out of 10. So Stone the Crows, nine out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. If you like what you see, please comment, please subscribe, hit the notification bell if you would. That means you get a little email to say that I've uploaded another video, which is twice a day. If you can handle two emails a day for me. Um, <laughs> Thank you to Stephen for sending. Boom, Stone the Crows, cheers.